Well, so Oregon's taken a pretty unique approach compared to the other states that have uh, approved, that have packaging and labeling. Um, Oregon has taken a model more like alcohol, um, <laughs> and when, on every bottle of beer you have and every wine, you know, every bottle of wine and every uh, distilled spirit you drink, uh, those labels all have to be approved federally by the TTB um, in Washington, D.C. ahead of time, before they can go out onto the shelf and before they can go out into the stream of commerce. Uh, what we noticed in other states uh, was that um, packaging and labeling were, were coming forth and then there'd have to be recalls or people would, the public would complain because it was attractive to children or, um, you know, they used cartoon characters or bright colors or they did, you know, or, or things were happening and people were cutting the edge related to what the packaging and labeling rules approved. So in Oregon, we took a, a model more like alcohol. So in Oregon, um, and if you have an interest in this, you can go to marijuana.oregon.gov and look it up, but on um, labeling, it's labeling guide and checklist, and there's a whole checklist there uh, for people who are, tra who are practitioners, but what we do is we have a pre-approved label process for our labeling and packaging in Oregon, so we don't run into some of those same problems. So we, we know what the labels are, we know what the packaging is, that we're assigning every package and label a unique ID number, so that into the future, um, you know, I, I, I would agree with the congressman that, uh, that things are moving very, very quickly. There are five states in the country right now that are looking to approve recreational marijuana like Oregon. Those are Massachusetts, Maine, Nevada, Arizona, and the state of California. So there's five measures on the ballot this November. What we're trying to do is, you know, we know that our Oregon marketplace is very small. We think the market for marijuana in Oregon is about 520,000 people. After you take off people who are, you know, who are underage, and you uh, and you consider those people who, in all the surveys, have said they're never going to use marijuana, or they don't use alcohol today, or they don't use tobacco, we've tried to look at that model. There's only about 520,000 people, so we know that at some point in time, what probably is going to happen. I believe is that uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna open up uh, for for retail legalization at some point in time. Oregon has been a longtime exporter of marijuana. <laughs> I uh, for people who you know Noel mentioned it. I was the I was the lead drug prosecutor in Jackson County 20 years ago. Um, so some of the people I saw out in the forum when I was doing the marijuana thing, I had busted 20 years ago as a drug prosecutor. And we had a great relationship, but uh, it was, uh, you know, but, but we got along fine. So we've tried to make our packaging and labeling uh, to the extent that we have a catalog of what those packaging and labels are, that there's a unique identifier. Just like when you go to the supermarket, you have a unique barcode uh, that, that gets done for that product that's sold across the nation. We're trying to establish that in Oregon. We're not developing, we don't have a bunch of people downstairs trying to decide if this is childproof or not. We're, we've adopted federal child proofing um, and child resistant packaging standards that have already been regulated at the federal level. And we're saying you've got to go get that federal certification. And the reason we're doing that, and it may be a little bit more expensive for people now, is we're trying to build for a market that makes sure that, um, you know, that, that we're thinking towards the future in terms of what we're doing, that we've got objectivity, we've got labeling, we've got packaging, we've got all those things in place to make a difference. Today, um, we do have about 550 approved packages, and then we've got 246 approved labels in the state of Oregon. It costs $100 to submit a label or a package for pre-approval. We're pretty much caught up um, with those, we're right on target with those, but what I would tell you was, you know, we had this October 1st deadline. I think September 5th, we only had like 50 approved. And then we got this massive flood of people at the last minute. Uh, I think like Dave, like Dave said, people are trying to catch up. They're not used to, to a, a process. Um, uh, they're, they're new to bringing, these, bringing this product to market. But we've been able to catch up, we've been able to staff up and do those things. Um, there was some controversy related to, you know, strains of marijuana. Um, people have to get used to those things that don't appeal to minors. I mean, basically, I think out of a out of a list of I don't know 500 plus that that the commission went through just initially on popular strains, we had like 20, less than 20, I think. And what were some of those names that you ended up 
um, some of the names that that we used were like Girl Scout cookies, you know, uh, Grape Bait, which was a you know cartoon show. Um, you know, we and you rejected all the, those, and we reject we we rejected those. Yeah, we rejected those. Um, and not only would they have, you know, so it's not our job to enforce copyright and trademark stuff. They all have copyright and trademark problems to begin with. But we just don't want, you know, when we said use your common sense, walk through your uh, local toy store. And if there's something in there that has the same label as marijuana, then don't call your strain of marijuana that. I mean, that's pretty simple. And every single one of those things was like that, that we've rejected. Um, so for Smurf. I mean, you know, there's a trademark on, you know, so there's all these things out there, but we just want people to use common sense. And I, you know, what we've told the industry when we've got some pushback is, do you want the industry to mature or do you not want it to mature? If you want it to mature, don't be juvenile in, in, the, in the label choices you have because it's not intended for juveniles. It's intended for adults, so treat it like an adult product. So um, I think that that's been pretty satisfying to most people. We frankly haven't gotten much pushback in terms of what we've rejected. But that's kind of where we're going with packaging labeling. If, again, if you want the mechanics, go to marijuana.oregon.gov, and that's frankly the single portal site in the state of Oregon to learn about what goes on with marijuana. Um, we launched that, I think, within 36 hours of the election uh, to try and make that the single portal site. If you want to know what hearings we're having, if you want to know any of those things, uh, log on to that site. There's also a listserv um, that you can log on to, so you'll get information about marijuana and when the hearings are and what's going on. Regardless of you know what your take in marijuana may be, it's subjective and it's just this is what government's doing. If you want to be involved, um, you know, be involved in in hearing about what's going on. We'd like you to be involved ahead of time. And I think we've done a pretty good job with our public involvement piece. I was amazed when we had our hearings on public involvement. Uh, We'd scheduled like four and a half hours for hearings. We were done in an hour and a half, and we didn't have anybody sitting in the queue um, waiting to testify. And I've been doing public process for 20 plus years, and that rarely ever happens. It's but, exhausting. But you had an extensive array of meetings. We did. All over the state. Absolutely. We did it ahead of time, so I was glad we weren't in the last minute trying to change. We appreciate the Congress, the Congressman participated with us, and all these guys all have participated with us the whole time to make it open to everybody, for public health people, for law enforcement, for you know marijuana advocates, for you know all kinds of people to, to come to the table.